be kind of cool. Do a little Would You Rather W style, uh, mainly athletes. And some of our favorites that we, well, we'd like to debate and talk about. Um, so we're gonna do some football and basketball. You have to have basketball in there for me. Of course. Yeah. So we're gonna start off with some uh, football stuff. And first, here we go. You guys ready? Let's do it. That's very, is he a little mopey this evening? He is a little mopey, yeah. A little mopey. I'm fine. Did your wife give you a hard time for coming here tonight? No, I don't know. This is a passion of ours, guys. We're, we're, <laughs> we're blown up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm a little too invested, I think, in the Instagram account right now. Okay. So, I will, I will say, distracted. I will say, he has done better at Instagram and Facebook. He's, okay. he's, I actually thought that was Bubba's Instagram. That he, it was Asbury. Yeah, yeah, not there. I like it. Okay. So, first, would you rather? Um, it's more for our listeners and maybe me. I'm the only one really old enough. But, uh, two seasons, two undefeated seasons. Ironically, um, I believe one, one, and two. I've got. I've yeah, got if you're watching on video, we got yeah. some. So 1988. That was an undefeated season. That's this is five. Yes, I, you got 06 and 07. Okay, there. I'll stop you. But <laughs> <laughs> same record. We lost one game. <laughs> Actually, that's better. So 1988 versus 1993 are two true undefeated seasons. And uh, I mean, I'll start. So, I mean, 88 is really what got me as a W fan. Uh, parents had season tickets. I assume, I was eight years old. I thought that was how life was gonna be as an under fan. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, you screwed up. And you know, they had the rap songs. They had, I mean, the mage, the red, the rip. I mean, it was unbelievable. And I really thought that was how it was going to be. So uh, for me, it's fairly easy. And I also think the 88 team, I think the 98, 93 team snuck by some teams, good teams. Uh, the 88 team demolished teams. I mean, absolutely demolished teams. Oh, yeah. 88 was by far a more talented, better team. Yeah. 93 was great. But. Yeah. So for me, I'm going 88. Um, you know, by far, I, I, I just think it's that's that's it. So I'm going 88. Who wants to go, Brent? Do it. I'm going with 88 too, uh, just because. Now, with saying that, I can realize. I mean, that team was obviously better than '93, but I'm in a different boat just because the '93 team was what started my fandom. That's what I remember. I still remember Robert Walker. I think we might have played Louisville at home that year. And yes. I went, we were at that game, and it was just crazy. So that was what... Louisville was good then, too. Yeah, yeah and that's what started that for me, just being absolutely obsessed, and it's never really stopped. But um, So I will go with 88 just because I'm, you said, you know, the rap video and stuff. Bino Cook also, right. before the season, yeah. picked them to win the national championship. And always there's a clip that I saw on YouTube this week uh, <laughs> with Don Nealon just kind of giving more time saying... Uh, you know, you're not the smartest man or something like that, kind of yeah. taking a shot for picking them. So I'm going to go with uh, 88 just because, I mean, they had – their whole line was 50-year seniors. Yep. They had major run around out there. They are just so talented. So I'm going with 88. All right. So what's good? I'll, I'll go. I'll just jump on the bandwagon. Oh, I'll say okay. 88. Um, you would have done like three and doesn't remember. Actually, I was one. <laughs> Jeez. What do you heard? Right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, did. I was young for both of them, so I don't really remember either one. Um, I've probably seen more highlights from '88 than '93, though. So that's uh, I'll keep that short and sweet, and I'll pass it over to you. Well, we'll make it a clean sweep. I mean, I think the easy answer here is '88 uh, for everything we talked about. I mean, '93 uh, we've talked about in the previous episode um, was kind of a big deal. Uh, just being a little bit older, remembering it better, but '88, I take that. Day. Yeah, I will say that I heard uh, Jake Snake was on uh, another podcast. Yep. Uh, recently, and it was that was really cool. It was, it was, it was, it was that, a really good interview. It was really cool. I mean, first of all, he remembered. I mean, like every play, <laughs> minute detail. Yes. Uh, I mean, like, not just the play, like big plays. But even talking about the interceptions he had in the '92 season. Yeah. Yes. I mean, talking about yeah. it cost him a game. It was kind of crazy. Right. And, and I, I forgot how big. I mean, before recruiting the big recruiting services, the dude was legit. Yeah. I mean, everybody wanted him. Uh, and then Robert Walker, I remember um, Syracuse, they kind of pulled the old, uh, if you remember when we beat uh, Georgia, and the, this is, I'm going, I'm going flash forward here, uh, with Steve Slayton, with Greg Blue, and they said they had never seen SEC yeah. speed. 
Well, Syracuse, I remember that week, was on and on and on about their speed they had. And do you remember the Robert Walker, Walker run when he flat out? Yeah, I mean, totally he was yeah. 20 yards past everyone else. Well, and then there was also a little added uh, motivation for that game against Syracuse because that was the year was, after the Marvin Graves yep. when he yep. did that not get kicked pitch. out of the game. Right, yeah. And they, we, I mean, we killed them. Yeah, so like Dominion won 42 to nothing or something like that. 48 nothing, I think. 48 was bad. I believe so. 